And good morning, everybody. Mike Nemec back here again on Thursday morning, July 27th. Overnight trade, finding the uh, plus side of the ledger. We're up roughly around four to seven cents in the uh, all wheats. We've got the corn market up around two cents, beans up four, the meal market's up a buck, and the soybean oil market's up around 20 points. We're kind of working higher after yesterday's up reversal, making new lows pretty much across the floor and rebounding late in the day. I think two things that uh, are ongoing now, we had our crop ratings earlier in the week. We got a little bit of a rally off of that. Now we currently have a rain system moving through the uh, Corn Belt which kind of sold the market off from those ratings and into yesterday's trade as well. I think the market now has digested those rains. Rains kind of got received in the areas that were receiving rains, but they replenished those soils, but also got into some of the drier areas, but it wasn't all encompassing and it wasn't a good soaker. So here we are now going forward looking at a weather pattern that's going to be somewhat more of a normal temperatures, but in the extended NOAA report, it's more or less much below or below normal precip. So after this, we're going to go to an extended period of not so much hot, but dry weather. And here we are going to be working our way into the month of August, and we still have another month of weather cards to be played out here. And perhaps that's given the market a little bit of a boost in the overnight trade with us now having digested the rains that have moved through. As I mentioned yesterday, it seems like the trade is starting to move up their harvest lows idea from the beginning of the uh, growing season in respect to the carryouts coming on down as a result of yield. People are maybe trying to talk the uh, bottom end of the harvest lows, maybe in the 360 to 380 area, and for the beans in the $9 or 925 to the 950 area give or take, but obviously we still have a ways to go there. We'll have our export sales coming on out later on this morning. Trade will be not so much honed in on that because we're more on the supply side of the ledger, but it's something to look at, particularly for the beans, which are kind of holding pretty well in here, given the fact that South America had a large crop. And having said all that, we still have a trade that's still net long across the floor except for the meal. So the trade is still holding on to their net longs. We're winding down the month. We're coming up to first notice day for the August contracts. That does lead to some position evening. But if the trade still wants to stay long, they lighten up their positions. But we still have, like I say, the whole month of August to maybe still play that weather card for one last chance to see if we don't try and take yields down even more. Top side of the markets right now for corn, 420-ish for the beans, roughly around 1050. Once again, these are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Thank you.